it's a bad habit so many people have fallen into. Uh, I wouldn't even say just over the past year. I mean, this has been going on for a bit. Yes, and I don't know <laughs> if I would call it a bad habit. It depends on who you ask. But we're talking about people mindlessly or sometimes obsessively <laughs> scrolling through their social media feeds. So on this one is Wednesday. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with some simple steps to help you stop scrolling as much. The pandemic has led to a dramatic increase in screen time for many, and a lot of those hours have been devoted to what experts call doom scrolling. It's an unhealthy habit for multiple reasons, and one that is well worth the effort to break. College student Laura Fields is finally starting to feel like herself again. As the stress of the past year became too much, she fell into the ritual of scrolling through her newsfeed at all hours. You're really like letting your emotions get the best of you. It seems like I couldn't look away from it. Most people who have moved on and into addiction don't recognize that they're doom scrolling. But it can take a heavy toll on our mental health, says psychologist Margaret Cochran. People who do a lot of doom scrolling often look like a depressed person. You have trouble sleeping. You may lose your appetite. You will have difficulty with relationships. I couldn't focus on my work. I thought that um, maybe it's time to take a step back. The key to stop the scroll, find a way to interrupt the cycle by replacing the bad habit with a positive distraction. Distraction is very important. Finding other things to do. Um, that are better for you. Physical exercise of some sort. Exercise boosts feel-good hormones, improves sleep, and physically prevents you from being on your phone. You can also start a daily gratitude journal. The reason that's so important is because that rewires your brain in a very positive way. To get started, stay off social media for at least 72 hours. If that's not possible, decrease the amount of time you spend online each day. Within a month's time, you should be feeling pretty good again. Laura says she found relief by writing about her experiences in her school newspaper. I felt like uh, other students would kind of relate to that. The most important thing to remember? There is life beyond social media. Mental health experts say the key is to find a healthy balance. If you're constantly checking social media or feel like you're missing out when you're not, it's a good sign that it's time to make changes. If you have trouble stopping or cutting back, Talk to someone you trust about it or seek professional help.